Hello everyone and welcome to Lavalia's Coloring. I am going to be sharing with you my completed colorings from February. Um, I think I was able to complete more than I expected because I, I didn't get to really start coloring until like mid-month and February was such a short month but um, yeah let me go ahead and clear off my desk and we will get started. I'm going to start off with the Hannah Lynn calendar that I colored for February. Here it is. She is called Rosette Fairy. And this is the illustration that came out from Hannah Lynn's Patreon last year in 2022 in February. And so um, I'm a part of her Patreon. So all of last year's calendars, I printed it out so that I can color and use for uh, my coloring journal for this year. And yeah, if you're interested in um, printing out one of these calendars, you do have to be a part of her Patreon. And I'm not sure what each of the tiers give out, but I'm in the silver tier. And with that one, I get the illustration for the month, which is new. Uh, she creates it for the month. And so you won't find them in any of her other books. And then she also has the simplified version. You have the calendar, the journal, the bookmark, the little cards, I think digi stamp also. And, um, mid-month she also gives you a bonus illustration so yeah she gives a lot just for the silver tier and then she, it also comes in pdf and in jpeg form so yeah if you're interested in um, coloring like the calendar and using it also you do have to join her patreon but i'll leave all her Patreon information down below in the video description if you want to check it out. So for the Rosette Fairy, I based her with Ohuhu markers. The pencils I believe I used are the Arteza Expert colored pencils with a little bit of white Posca in her eyes and then on the clouds. And then some Ann Art glitter gel pen for the border and on the word February. I also listed my coloring goals for the month of February. I did complete a majority of them. The one that I was not able to color in is an Asian coloring book. Um, I don't know if I would have been able to anyways with the short month and then also um, being sick earlier in the month and catching up with my son's homeworks. Uh, so <laughs> I'm just glad that I got a majority of them done. So I have buddy colors that I completed, some whips I was able to finish up. Um, I was able to do a couple of the books from my to complete list. And on that one, I only have three books to eventually complete. So I did have the Brazia Salvo calendar, which was... Um, the one that I wanted to complete last year, but I wasn't able to finish it. I plan to just work on it throughout this year and finish it up this year. So hopefully I remember to get back to it. Uh, the second book is Bottled Treasures. It is the Mosaic Color by Number by Alice Mills Publishing. And then the third book, which I'm sure you'll most likely be familiar with, is The Enchanted Faces uh, by Hannah Lynn. And I do have a majority of the pages complete. I think I only have 20 more to do. So the ones that are in pink are the ones that I completed this year. And then next on my list is um, books from my series list. And that one is pretty long. It's all of the books from illustrators that are kind of my favorite and I list all of the books that I have not yet colored in and the magazines so I have the coloring magazines here coloring heaven magazines over here uh, the last of my color by number books that I haven't colored in I have some creative haven color quest and the MC is the magazine um 
color by number box. I have Mystic Art Mirror, Kirby Rosanna's, lots of mythographic that I have to get into, Hannah Lynn, Eerie, Maria Chole, Clara Markova, and Hannah Lynn. So I want to have the list handy so that I know what I have not yet colored in and try to work on those books first um, instead of working on their other books which I have already colored in. So yeah, so that's my series list. I want to work on PDFs which this is one of them. Uh, I did some mandalas and I also did some color by numbers. So yeah, that is my coloring goals and my coloring from Hannah Lynn's Patreon for February. So the first book I'm going to share with you is Enchanted Faces, pocket-sized coloring book by Hannah Lynn. And uh, first off, I want to apologize to the four ladies that I forgot to mention in my January uh, completed colorings video. I thought I mentioned everyone that is in the Enchanted Faces group buddy color, but of course, yeah, I can't, I don't know. I ended up forgetting like four of them, so I am so so sorry. Oh gosh, I felt so bad. Um, so I want to give a shout out to them and then everyone else that are in the group. So, uh, my Sonia. Uh, she only joined us for January, but yeah, I'm so glad that she was able to color a page with us. And then there's also uh, Amanda and Deb and Amberly. So I forgot them. Sorry, I apologize. And then also the other ladies that are in the group, I made sure to write a list. So it's Terry Lynn, Yasmin, Emma, Erica, Corey, T, Anne, and Jen. So hopefully my list is complete and I didn't forget anyone else, but I will leave the link to their Instagram and their YouTube channel if they have one down below in the video description. So please check out their Instagram galleries and YouTube channels so you can see their beautiful colorings, especially in the Enchanted Faces coloring book. So the two pages that I colored in here, here's the first one, Oleana's Otter. And so for this page, you can tell I did do, again, a base of alcohol markers. And I used three different sets of pencils. For her skin, I used the Indra Creative Pastel colored pencils. I have the 72 set. And then for her hair, I used the Spiral Farben. I didn't get inspiration um, for the mermaid hair by googling it. So I'll try to see if I can post up a picture up here that I use as an inspiration. But I just remembered when I was posting this on Instagram, when I was looking at her hair, kind of reminded me of, you know, those color changers. Um, I don't know if they have it for uh, Barbies or anything like that, but my sons have the um, Disney Cars 2 or Cars color changer where you put it in warm or cold water and it changes. So it kind of reminded me that, you know, like maybe her hair changes color if it's in cold water, it turns turquoise blue. And then once it's dried, it turns purple. But yeah, it kind of has that little effect looking at this page. Um, the other pencils that I used are the Faber Castell Gold Faber. And I use that for everything else, the details, the otter. I also use some white Posca to add little shine and shimmer on her hair. I lined the outline of her hair with Sakura Stardust. And then the shimmer that you can see for the water, that is the Kurataki Gansai Tambi Opal Colors. This is the blue one. And yeah, nice flat color and then more white Posca. And I also use some other uh, Sakura Stardust and Moonlight gel pens. And then um, I forgot what the gel pen is called, the color shifter one. But 
yeah so this is my oleana's otter i showed this to my husband and he thought this was a beaver and he was serious too <laughs> so but yeah i corrected him it's my little otter so yeah so that is oleana's otter and then the next page that we colored for february is dahlia and i colored her hair green so um she was for normal colorings green haired woman and so for this page again based with a hoo hoo markers and the pencils that i used is the indra creative pastel colors again i used a little bit of luminance i think for her skin and then karen dash pablo's for everything else you can see that I lined her hair with Sakura Stardust. The gold here is the gold Posca. Used white Posca. I tried to make her eyes. I don't know if you can see it, but it's a. Uh, I tried to do like green hazel eyes. It was fun trying to figure that one out. <laughs> um, and the dragonfly, I actually colored that in first. And then on top, I did a layer or some of the Kuretake Gansai Tambi opal colors again. The yellow, the pink, and the purple. So you can still see all the pencil marks that I colored in for the wings and then the shimmer of the watercolor. But yeah, so those are my two colorings, Dahlia and Oleana's Otter from Enchanted Faces by Hannah Lynn. Next, I have Color Lines, Mandala Night. This is by Sun Life Drawing. I did one page in here, and it was for a red and pink mandala color along. I'll put up the hashtag here. So for this page, I used Tao Tree. Uh, at you speaka which is the dark uh, red color glitter gel pen and then also uh, aeon art glitter gel pens and yeah the at you speaka red is not my favorite it's kind of streaky felt like i was scratching at the paper but it was a very quick modula to complete really don't like these lines but Gonna still color in here. So yeah, this is my red and pink mandala from Color Lines Mandala Night by Sunlight Drawing. Next, I have Bottle Treasures Mosaic Color by Number by Alice Mills Publishing. I did, I think two. I think I showed this one, Mushrooms and Bellflower. Um, this is Stored Snowflakes. And then Sailor's Pride. They were both done with Tao Tree markers. And yeah, these were the ones that I can get gratification of completing in between coloring. So yeah, this is a fun book to color and to complete. So this is The Bottled Treasures by Alice Mills Publishing. I did another mandala in Creative Haven, Flower Mandalas coloring book by marty noble i did one page in here and it's for amanda colors um color along i'll put up the hashtag up here and the color palette for that color along um up on the screen and i used a hoo hoo markers for this one i used all of the colors that were recommended for that palette and yeah, I really love how it turned out, though I wish I used more of the lighter colors um, in here. I used a lot of this color for this area, but yeah, uh, learn my lesson <laughs> for the next time. So yes, this is my mandala in the Creative Haven Flower Mandalas by Marty Noble. My next coloring is in Coloring Heaven, Fairy Special. This one has illustrations by Jana Posverina. And I completed a page here called Crush. I completed it for Valentine's Day. I was so happy I got it done. Though I wish I did something else with the background. It's not my favorite, but um, 
it's done <laughs> actually did the background the night before valentine's day and it was like midnight it was late at night and i was just i wanted to complete it and then so i wasn't sure about doing paint or watercolor so i wanted to just make it easy on myself and i used the muño soft pastel and then i took out the stabilo carbothello pastel pencils and started playing with that and then i wanted to i don't know i just wanted to add some more so you can see that i started going in with pencils so some of them are hard line and then some of them are soft but yeah it is what it is <laughs> that's what it's gonna be but i'm very happy with the fairies i love how they turned out so i did base them first with ohuhu brush markers and then i used the karen dash luminance i believe for their skin and faber castell polychromos i used the indra creative pastel uh colored pencils also and then um, you can see it. I put stickles on her flowers and her hair. The wings, I outlined hers with white Posca. And then with this one, I outlined it with gold Posca. But then I also went over the wings with some Kuretake Gansai Tambi, the opal colors again. This time I used the yellow one on this one, on the guys wings and then I use the pink one on the girl's wings then I also use some beige Posca to outline uh, their face and yeah so this is my completed coloring in the coloring heaven very special by Jana Rosferina I was able to do another coloring um, in a Coloring Heaven magazine, this time in Fantasy Figures with illustrations by Maud Lamone. And for this one, I did a buddy color with the very beautiful T from T's World of Adult Coloring. So let me go ahead and put up her gorgeous coloring on this side. We've been wanting to color in this book. We picked out several books to color in, so this is one that we really wanted to get into. So yes, thank you T for a very fun buddy color. And yeah, so for my page, I did base the background, her hair and skin with Ohuhu brush markers. And then for pencils, I use the Indra Creative Pastel Colors, uh, Pastel Colors, and the Karen Dash Pavlos, plus a white Prisma Color to smooth out the colors in the wings and on her dress. I also used a little bit of Sakura Stardust on her crown, in the middle of the flowers, and then on her fingernail i don't know if you can see it but yeah i had a lot of fun trying to figure out what colors to use i did know that i want her to have purple hair so uh i usually you'd find purple hair on like um anime uh characters so i looked up uh, uh angels with anime angels with purple hair and if i can find the image again i'll try to put it up here so i used that as an inspiration though i didn't know what to color the flowers at the time so since this was a buddy color with tea i was inspired to color it pink because that's her favorite color and yeah i really love how it turned out um it's hard to tell but in the wings i did use like four or five colors plus the white prisma and then on her dress i did use like five or six colors and the white prisma it's hard to see but yeah, i really love how that came out and very happy to have a coloring done from Maud lamone so this is the coloring heaven magazine called fantasy figures my next coloring is in the moonlit veil a mythical coloring and art book by annie stig gerard and 
I did a pageant here as a body color with my good friend Kelly, who's known as Color Journey with Kelly on Instagram. And he hasn't completed his yet. He's still working on it. So I haven't posted mine up on Instagram yet, but I'm going to go ahead and share it with you since I did complete it in February. Um, this is the page that I worked on during the first two weeks of February while I was sick. Um, worked a little bit each day um, on all the little elements. I left the flowers for last. So uh, yeah, I actually started this in January with just this portion done. I wanted to see how it would look like as a silver frame and then trying to figure out all the greens that I'm going to use. But yeah, really, really happy with how it turned out. You can see some of the sparkle that I tried to add on the details of her dress and the pearls in her hair. But yeah, so for the background here, I did add um, some distress ink and then um, the pencils that I used are the Caran Dash Luminance and the Derwent Light Fast. I did splatter a little bit of the Dr. P.H. Martin Bleed Proof White for all the little white speckles and the flowers. Um, I used the White Uniball Signal to outline some of the flowers and the details on her dress. I used some Ohuhu acrylic paint pen for the flowers so they would stand out a little bit against the dark background. And I hope she stands out a lot because I tried to, I was drawing inspiration from Annie's paintings, kind of like using a lot of the muted colors and with the girls with their flowy um, light dresses. So yeah really really happy with how this turned out i'm glad i finally colored in this book so thank you kelly for suggesting this book to color in i actually got this book off her um kickstarter from years ago and i'm just finally <laughs> coloring in it but yeah very very happy with this page so this is my first coloring in Annie Steg Gerard's The Moonlit Veil. I was able to also complete three PDFs. So I'm going to start off with this one. And this is an illustration by Carla Morgana from her coloring book, Rococo A Go Go. I have her PDF version that I purchased off Etsy. And so this one I actually printed out. I think sometime last year in the summer and it was one of the pages that T um, picked out to color so I was like I'm gonna color that too but she finished hers I think long time ago and I'm just finally finally completing it so it is a base of Ohuhu markers and the pencils that I used is Indra Creative and the Caran Dash Pablos and then I outline the pearls, her earrings, her gems with white Posca. And the background you can see shining is the Kurtaki Gansai Tambi Starry Color. I believe that is the champagne gold. And yeah, I wanted to go ahead and paint the background black but i was kind of lazy to do that so <laughs> with the iphone you're able to capture the main image of a photo so if you hold down on your um, photo it will copy or you, you have the option to copy the main image so i did that and then i pasted it onto a black background so i'll show you how it looks like once i had the black background and that is what I also posted on Instagram, but I also added a picture of this one with the white background. But I really like how it stands out with the black background. Maybe someday in the future, I will put acrylic paint and black out the back. But right now, I'm just kind of like lazy to do that. But this is completed uh, again from Carla Magana's Rococo A Go Go. My next coloring is 
from Destiny Lordson. And I actually got this from an email from Coloring Heaven. Uh, they did an exclusive interview of Destiny, who is the illustrator of this. And with it, they gave this illustration um, with the email. So I printed this out at the time and it was smaller and so it kind of got lost with the other pdfs that i printed out but when i found it again i decided to just go ahead and finish it up and yeah very very happy with it it's so so cute so it is a base of alcohol markers the ohuhu alcohol markers and then for pencils i use the prisma color premier colored pencils i outlined all of the flowers and the fairy with the white unibol signo gel pen and then for her um skin i used the beige posca i also added some white posca and then for her hair i added some stickles i think it was the rose gold and then for her wings i used um, the glitterific fine um, rose gold color on top of the pink wings and yeah very very pretty I wanted her to be very very glittery so yeah I'm not sure if you can find this illustration anywhere I couldn't find it in her Etsy store which is where you can purchase her um, illustrations as sets uh, she does have two books out on Amazon there's a fairy one and then also a mermaid one um, and if you join her website um, destinylordson.com and um, subscribe to getting an email she does give every month a free um, illustration so if you're interested in that um, in any of her work I'll leave all her information down below in the video description for you guys so yeah, again, this is an illustration by Destiny Lordson. I have one more PDF and it's uh, from the Chris Reiniak's Morning Scribbles digital coloring book. This is also available on Amazon, but I actually purchased this from the website uh, bindlewood.com. Again, by Chris Reiniak, Reiniak. I will put his information down below in the video description. And so I wanted to join along in the color along that is held by Amanda Colors and Disney Makes Coloring. So I'll put up the hashtag up over here. And so this is the image that was for February. And yeah, I wanted to print them out small so that would be a little bit easier for me to complete and to store <laughs> so I could store it in these little albums so yeah so for this page I used the Copic Chow markers and then for the circle it was a base of a hoo, hoo marker and then on top of that I used the folk art gl glitterific fine again this is the rose gold and I did a short uh, video showing how it looks like before and after it was kind of like spontaneous i just it was there and i was able to record it very quickly so yeah it was fun putting that together hopefully i can do a little bit more shorts <laughs> in the future but yeah so this is the february illustration for their color along this is march so i'm hoping to get this one done for this month so that is the last of my PDF. There was a couple of colorings that I forgot to add in um, January and February. So I will get that. So I have three digital colorings to share with you. I forgot to share it last time. Um, there were two that I completed in January and then one in February. So um, yeah, my husband gave this ipad to me for christmas and this is where i've been editing um my videos and then changing my intro i think i made some mistakes here and there so i'm still learning it um 
but uh, yeah, I also have Procreate. So with Procreate, I've been learning like draw how to draw on it and how to color digitally color. And I don't know if it's a thing. I think someone uh, commented on one of my videos and asked me if I um, ever did procreate or digital coloring or anything like that but i didn't have an ipad at the time so that's always stuck in my mind so when my husband gifted this to me i wanted to try it and so it's kind of like the same as coloring you know with all the layers and what to start off with and stuff but yeah i'm still learning i still get confused sometimes with all of these layers so here's one of the colorings that i did this is the first one and i will put the Etsy store that I purchased this illustration from because I cannot remember. I think it's like Cozy Mittens or something like that. <laughs> but yeah, I think this one still has the layers. I haven't compressed it yet. But I use this as my go back and see what did I do <laughs> to color this. Um, but yeah, this was a lot of trial and error, but really, really happy with how it looks I like how you can just zoom it in and color it especially if there's like small spaces but yeah very very cute illustration and the second one I colored is from mystic art mirrors uh, I think this was uh, the one year book and this one took a while for me to finish because of all the details actually don't know if I finished it with all of these little glitter thing I still don't know how to do that yet with the digital brushes I have I'm still playing with it so um, yeah, I'm just gonna consider this done <laughs> so again this is the illustration from mystic art mirrors and then I did one more and I cannot remember where or who the artist or I don't think it's an artist I think it's a AI created so I'll put up the store that I purchased it from and yeah so this one was a lot of fun to color it was quick because it's so big it's just like one for this a layer for the yellows for her hair for the scarf it's fun coloring her face using airbrush it was a lot of fun so yeah hopefully I didn't mess it up okay so yeah, so that is my third digital coloring. Probably continue more and color a little bit more in here. I also did some um, drawing. This was, uh, I was following another illustration. Uh, I forgot who the artist is. I'll write her name up here. I don't have her book beside me, but it was an illustration from our book. So this is my version of her illustration and again this is me just um, trying out all of the different brushes and seeing which one I like so that was one of them and this is another illustration from her book and I kind of like went overboard with um, the strands in her hair <laughs> uh, I just kept on going I was like why did I do that I should have just left it but I guess this would be my version of um, grayscale or something, but yeah, that's done. <laughs> but I haven't gone back to uh, drawing yet, so I'm just I'm still learning. Um, I think I would do more coloring than I would do drawing, but yeah, I think once I get used to doing all the layers, it's gonna become easier and easier for me. So yeah, so that is it let me go ahead and put this away so i hope you guys enjoyed seeing the colorings that i've completed in february um i feel like i should have colored more but then again it was a short month i was sick in the beginning of the month i was playing catch up with my son's homeworks but i'm happy that i was able to complete at least a lot of my goals for the month I just wish I was able to participate in a lot of the color alongs in February. There was a lot that I wanted to, but again, you know, not enough days in the month and just not enough time to color all of them. So, uh, yeah, I can't wait to 
do more coloring in March so that I can participate in a lot of the color alongs. Um, if you're wondering where you can find a list of color alongs for March, definitely check out the Coloring Queen here on YouTube and also Emma Colors 2020. I believe they both um, share the color alongs for the month. And then if you're on Instagram, you can check out Passionista Colorista and then of course Nerma Coloring. There's other people I believe that also shares the color alongs in their stories so uh yeah just i hope i get to participate in a lot of them so again i hope that you guys enjoyed this video please take care and i'll see you all in my next video happy colorings my friends bye bye